one type per quadrant, no cheating. So this map, I guess, is kind of a self-imposed challenge. It splits off into four quadrants, four different maps, and you can only place, or at least the creator, wants you to only place that type of tower in each quadrant. So I think it would be a fun idea to see, or rather, what's the hardest game mode we can beat this with? I, I was going to say chimps, but um, as you can see, you can't beat the first round. There's not enough starting cash to get four different categories, let alone three. So if you do like a dart monkey here or sub here, I am out of money. I can only beat one of the lanes. Although, I guess the sub does seek, but there's no way that's going to allow you to seek um, both. And as you can see, stuff with infinite range gets blocked by the fence. Do you think impossible is doable? I feel like the early game is still going to be a problem because like things are even more expensive. You do have road spikes now, so I can possibly survive like one or two rounds. Free dart monkey for sure. And then the cheapest sub possible over here for 240. Would I just go for the cheapest things, like the cheapest support options possible? So even just be Sandler? Sure. So sacrifice magic. I can actually get a magic monkey next round at this at this base. So I think it also makes sense to not use uh, stuff like in a quadrant that would end up doing damage in another quadrant. Although sub is kind of unavoidable with its seeking stuff. But I mean stuff that truly has no control. Like for example, the jungle druid. I guess I'm not doing that. Nor maybe something like an, a, a non-seeking ace, because then the darts would absolutely fly to other quadrants. I think I'll allow like weak stuff like the uh, the sub. And yes, also no hero. The B side is struggling, so I'll just go ahead and get him my Coraptor. I probably should upgrade the Dark Monkey side next, because uh, that has like no defense. But it, it's actually the longest map, or rather the easiest map. It does like two loops in the middle. Honestly, if they added alternating lanes, or rather... Uh, only one lane active each round, that would make this challenge, I think, harder. Because right now, like, we can spread our defense evenly and still be able to survive, survive round 16. But if we had each quadrant, like, be this weak, they would, it would die to literally any round. I'm actually kind of surprised I'm able to get up a farm. Sub is OP for sure. Now, um, I would assume the first part of the map is the top left side. So I need camo for that part. Uh, looks like I'm dead round 21, right? Yep. Sub over here is leaking. Let me see if I can try to scrunch up money for a second sub. I have this on last right now. There we go. Again, sorry, there's now going to be two subs that seek darts, like, into other lands, but I want to say I'm probably dead this round. Let's see. Uh, Druid side. Oof, one blue. All right, Thwart and Swarm it is. And we are good. Okay, so is the first lane primary? Oh, it's military. Okay, um... The cheapest camo is a 010 sniper, but that's such... That's kind of weak. Okay, I guess the, the sniper isn't a bad thing, because I can turn into a 110 for 28. So that solves the lead popping on the side. So lead popping on support would be out of source, right? Damn, that's $1,000. I don't think I have enough money to allocate lead popping in every, every lane, do I? Alright, Druid. This is... Wow, we used up all our road spikes on... The magic side. So I think 110 would be cheapest on here. And then a 002 um, boomerang. I don't want to do a 000 bomb because it's kind of bad. Damn, that's like all, all my money. Like right, right on. Oh wait, no, I don't have enough. Full metal jacket is $200 off. Can I make money in the middle of the round? Or is it not enough? I'm $12 short. I guess I could just do bomb. That, that's, that's the only thing I can do. Without having to sell more crap. Rip. So now I need to figure out camo on every single lane. Well, I know very easily it's gotta be the ninja. Might as well get it ahead of time. Camo for support side would be a spike factory. And then I think since I have Dart Monkey, might as well, if I'm spending this, this much money on Enhanced Eyesight, forget Crossbow. Okay, now I think my defense is good enough that I can go for uh, my second farm. I gotta like, I gotta love the use of the uh, mini rocks to uh, create text. I think I'll get some upgrades on Ninja since I uh, I need to get defense for round 37 anyways. Man, this is chaotic. Nope, now I'm dead to the top right side. Why do I feel this challenge is not doable like late game? Because I'm going to have to spend four times cash. Well, not four times, but I'm going to need to spend on so much garbage. So yes, I'm very aware that, you know, the mob spawns on the uh, military lane. That's why I'm just going to get defense up here ahead of time. So I'm going to upgrade to a boat. I had to sell this up because I can't fit three water towers for whatever reason. I probably need to 
buy stuff for this part too. Yep. I think I screwed myself, honestly. Uh, I don't think $3,000 is enough to beat this round. And I don't want to sell farms, because if I do then... Well, you just know how much worse that would be. I can't even outbuff my triple guns, that's so sad. Alright, last try, guys. I'm gonna do... Flaming hot shots. Nope. If we're starting this early, I think I think either we drop difficulty at hard, or we enable a hero. I just didn't want to use a hero, a use hero though, because you know they don't have a category. I admit defeat. Like if you take a second to think about it, just ignoring the category restrictions, the self-imposed ones, having four separate lanes like with a blocker between each other would pretty much already be advanced expert level difficulty. You know what I mean? Anyways, Snowball Effect goes hard now because, uh, as you see, we have 100 lives to work with, so I don't need to actually uh, worry about leaking a, a single balloon. So I can even let that side, where the sub is, like, just leak everything for now. So again, I budget everything properly now for lead popping. I bought a boomerang instead of attack shooter for to save a little bit of money. And I think I'm out of the farm space, sadly, on the support side. Okay, time to upgrade it, I guess. I guess I'll get a Monkey Office eventually, but for now, upgrade them to tier 3s. Now, late game is certainly going to be interesting, because if I want to, again, avoid the cheesing of this challenge, then I'm going to need to get, like, a strong defense for each quadrant, which costs a lot of money, which is why I I waved in the white fl flag early. If I can't snowball and get money, then I'm almost certainly screwed for uh, the, the later rounds. Can I agree for three marketplaces? Uh, no, no, no. I lost lives already last round. So I will once again have about $4,000 to work with. 5000 after uh, here. All this early. Triple guns and the boat on last. And then first, uh... When it pops. Close, close. Do I do destroyer instead? Um, actually... Yeah, not a bad option. Oh, that pops really quickly. And I don't even need to buy uh, hot shots. All right. I now just got to get a 3 just up there for camo. Oh, right. I can't upgrade to aircraft carrier or flight ship, sadly. So I, I guess this is just here for the mid game. Rip. Anyways, as I said, camo uh, here. Uh, this and this. I'm not sure if this spike factory has enough spikes for the rainbow. Okay, just barely. Wait, do I need Horn Owl for 43? I think I do, I do. Ceramics are indeed very OP. Uh, come on. Dead? 21 lives. Jeez. I'm really milking all that extra... Those extra lives I have. I think I'll go for a sharpshooter for, the, for this, um... This quadrant. And I'll buff the ninja. If I don't die here, that is. Nope, okay. This is where, like, again, the farms are needed, because I'm going to be spending a lot of money for the mid-game. Now that our early game is getting uh, overwhelmed. Should be good now for all lands. Kind of scared for this side. 20 lives, uh, 15? Oh my god. That Horned Owl is really paying dividends. I probably should max merge it. Okay, I'm going to pause this round to make a Monkeyopolis. I think it's time. So I would not personally consider this cheating, but my influence range of the monkey office is going to be able to reach the military too, so I get extra money from everything popping on this side. Let me just sell the discount village, I guess, because this doesn't actually decrease the uh, opolis. Unfortunately, now my monkey opolis does not reach either of these towers. Okay, I'll buy range. And let me quickly uh, buy factory upgrades. 110, 120. And we are good. JK? Not JK. Two lives. Uh, okay, John is probably worth it because I'm gonna need it for the uh, mole popping later. See, the difficulty does not let up even this, despite our early like our early farm lead. I guess I'll go hot shots for the fortified leads coming out soon. Primary, primary. Okay. Honestly, ice shards. We're gonna pop them up, right? Now we just gotta freeze it and then beat the Rams. Easy. And then this guy triggers ice shards. So, are we... Do we have enough mole popping on this side, or do we go... I uh, know, I gotta do Jitsu. Jitsu is love, Jitsu is life. Nice. Okay, here's the first ball up on this side. Uh, yep, I need V-Raptor, right? Probably. Is it good enough without merging? Uh... Barely. 
I think I should probably just keep fo focusing on farming. Wait, I, there's another there's another space for a farm here. I forgot. Should have had that earlier. That's okay. We'll go for two BRFs next. Wait a minute. I can't fit another village here. Which means I don't have, uh, what do you call it? I don't have camo for this part. Actually, yeah, I could just do overclock. But do you really think it's enough to beat de de camo everything? Well, I guess, again, with a quarter of the density, it can also get a lot of it, sure. Do we sell this for P-Lord now? Not P-Lord, but actually a uh, monkey part, monkey part, right? I think it's mob damage is good enough, and I can use the ability only if the, uh, the, the, the beef be hooked in is on this lane, which it is, so... I will go ahead and use it and beat 60 easily. I am very curious to see how we'll handle 63. Before that, uh... We can beat this FMOP, right? Nope. This is probably about as close as you can get to playing four different games at the same time. So come on, V-Raptor. Oh my god, two lives again. This is the second time that we dropped down to two lives. So let's see if we have enough. Um, I guess I'll do tier 4 Alk. Actually, let's see what, what, what lane dies. Uh, none of them. None of them. Yep, so now you know which- what defense is good enough to beat a quarter of a 63 wave. And now we'll do overclock. And we'll regain one life per round slowly with our uh, marketplace. What do you guys think now? Two overclocks? Sure. One for each BRF. You know what I'm most impressed with? How the hell is this top left quadrant surviving? I want to say it's because the map is just really easy and it loops multiple times, but... <laughs> I still- I still can't believe, like, this crummy defense is, like, making this long. Meanwhile, I got some beefy tier 4s on every other quadrant. I guess the ninja sh okay, yeah, the ninja shurikens are kind of- They're kind of being, uh, helped a little bit. Even if the ninja's helping- helping a little bit, that's still very impressive. This time, look, it's so low. There is no ninja help for this BFB. And, okay, now it actually dies. Fitting. Well, I already got Boomerang drop down, so I'll go ahead and get a uh, more press on it. I'm really close to that B Central. If I get that, it's GG. Okay, we're really getting helped by that hook in. But I really need some uh, military defense now. I want to show our military magic, so uh, let's think late game. Super Monkey probably does good. Oh, I was going to put Dark Knight here, but I just realized. Ultra Vision will make it see this lane, so I can't do that. I need to put it here instead. Oh my god, that's such a bad spot. I say bad because... You know, I put my out buff over here, so now I need its I need to give it its own out buff rip. Big rip. You know what? No, no, I gotta spend. I gotta spend. I, I'll get Spike Mines here. What do I want to get for this lane? P-Lord now? Or is it too early? Nah, let's save some money here. Uh, A battery probably is decent. It's cheaper, and that's all I care about for the moment. Okay, and now... It's all in that primary to save us. I shards OP again. Let's see if Ice Shard saves us for a 76 here. Yup. Indeed it is. Every lane is beaten. First try. Come on, 6,000 to go, or 1,000 to go. Did I lose more lives? I swear I saw some lives leak. There it is. God Central, now I can actually uh, not skimp out on, you know, getting some beefy upgrades. So what do we need help with? Embrittlement, first off. Two zero. Oh, I shouldn't have done 2 zero four Because there's no density. But that's fine. I'll just keep it. Oh my god. I'm still leaking. Okay, hang on, hang on. Imbrit might need uh, more help. Okay, so now I freely also buy P-Lord in this spot. Would I honestly just fill in this, this circle with attack zone? Probably, because remember, no density. I think it'll be fine. At least with, with, the, with just an overdrive. Alright, Super Mike is attacking. Let's move. Uh, let's start shift over here. This is still a fine spot. Okay, one last greed option? Sure. One last greed play with the Wall Street. So now, as I said, I want to get T-Rex. Don't know about using the ability, because it actually has a pretty big radius, but we'll see. We are also getting creamed by uh, the Srams on top left. I think I'll do the Holy Trinity of Support. Morp Glue and Relentless. Well, I guess we just got the infinite money hack, so Dark Champion, sure. And we can go for our Tax Zone here now, too. Right on time. And do I really care about cost efficiency? Nah. Let's just fully max out the T-Rex. There it is. 64 out of 64. Ready to chomp down anything in its path. Alright, how about to help out the military side? I'd say biggest one is good for DAT is we get the massive stun. Even though Bernie does more damage, I think I just want the... Utilite. 
Also, holy lag. I kind of want to see if this just beats it solo or the rest of the way. I definitely think I might have went a little bit over one of the greed. <laughs> Looking at this. Sure, let's just bank up the money at this point. I got a Zero Brittle and Tank Zone on the top left now, so it should be good. And again, Spike Mines is good against GTs too, at least good enough. Oh, and at this point, I should sell this for a first strike, because the bat will spawn this lane. So I might as well just get it up ahead of time. Maybe even preemptive, but we'll see if we need it. Alright, this will be fun. I just remember what I can't I can't I couldn't have gone for preemptive, even if I wanted to. Our weakest is definitely the T-Rex and the uh, the spike. Should I just go for my uh, Giga? I have the money. Or are we just gonna flex with the T-Rex? Yeah, we're just gonna flex with the T-Rex, sure. Yes, T-Rex more like T-Flex. Uh, 99? I died to where? The top side. Top right? I actually died to military? Well, okay. Well, I, I'll just get this then. Apparently, biggest one stun is not good enough. Alright, final round. I'll just do some barber selling. Just casually flexing my 280k leftover. I probably should have, uh... Actually, didn't need to resell my first strike, because we just... We just nuked down that, that bed very quickly. Well, GG. 100 rounds was my goal, so... Uh, we did it.